All right, what's going on guys? So today we're gonna to be doing the rear trailing arm bushings on this piece right here. Uh, I'm getting some crazy knocking noises and shit when I'm turning. Uh, I think it's the welded diff, but it might be the trailing arm bushing, so we're just gonna do them. The, the only bushings in the rear end that I haven't done yet, so we're gonna replace those. It shouldn't be too bad. Uh, pushing bushings out kind of sucks, but we're uh, gonna get into it right now. To start the job out, before you do anything, you're gonna to wanna to take a paint marker or just a fucking can of spray paint like I did. I went a little crazy, you don't have to do all this. But you're gonna uh, make marks on the bolts where they are on this little mounting bracket thing because this is what determines your alignment in the back. So you wanna make sure that this is gonna be the same when you put it back in and install it. So I just painted around the bolts to make sure I have the exact spot where they're supposed to be when I'm reinstalling it. So. That's a pretty crucial step if you uh, don't want to go get an alignment after you do this job. Next one is uh, before you lower anything down, right here there's one, two, three, four mounting things for this brake line right here. You're going to want to undo those and let this hang free before you drop anything because once this drops it kind of drops like a ton of bricks in it. You don't want it to damage your brake line so if these are loose you're good to go. So. Now we're gonna loosen these three. These are 18 millimeter bolts on here. And just be prepared when you lower it, this whole thing is gonna just kinda fall down with it. So let's do that. And there she is. So now we gotta take this bolt out right there. And it's an 18 millimeter nut and an 18 millimeter bolt on the other side. So we're gonna take that out right now. this thing off and there it is and then if you're getting lucky like I am metal pieces are gonna start falling out you can see all the fucking metal on the other one too is all corroded and coming off so this is good it's gonna be uh, easier than usual with a screwdriver. No big deal. 
Sick. I had to switch to the GoPro. Fam. Alright, so this one is so corroded. The metal on the inside, all around there, is just fucking coming out. It's just falling out. Like, I've, I've had a flathead, like, in and out of here, like, multiple times. So, I guess, thank New England for this one. I'm gonna take the sea plant. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. Now I'm gonna take this fucking thing. Forget what it's called. Whatever. And see if it gets it out. Cause it just might. Alright, if this works, I'll fucking be happy. Might just push the bushing in though. But I'm hoping because it's so weak it might just pop it out. We'll see. Right. Looks like it's just pushing the middle part out. But it's not necessarily bad. I'm just gonna send it. And see what happens. You know? You never know. I wish I had somewhere to put this fucking camera. This thing is fucked. So that had to have been my problem, obvi. The rubber in the bushing is actually not that bad. It's like the metal around it is the th shit that failed. That's insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just fucking falling apart. Crazy. Crazy. Let's see. Can I just. Oh my god. Pushing removal. Easiest one I've ever done. Jeez, look at that. Okay, so I gotta scrape that metal out of the hole now. That's the only part that might suck. There's all that metal in there. But, I mean, it's better than fucking getting a sawzo out, cutting the fucking bushing. So, that's pretty sick. This actually kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. It's not hard, it's just tedious. 
Look at that. Fuck. I'm sure there's something else. Alright, now what you're gonna wanna do. Well, I cleaned. Alright, hold on. Chill. I cleaned the whole inside out. It's all nice and good. And I slucked the first poly, the first side of the poly bushing in. And now I'm gonna put this, uh, the middle piece in. You want to use the lube that they give you. If you have poly bushing, you want to use the lube that they give you and just lube up this center piece because if you don't, uh, there's a chance it might squeak and make noise and shit. So, um, no, I'm going to put this in there. There ain't. Like so. Squeeze it down. Make it flush. And then I'm gonna put the second half in. And this half is such a tight fit, I had to put some uh, PB blaster on to get it to sneak in there. I might have to do it with this one too. But basically you're just gonna push it in and push that center piece all the way through and then that's part in. All right, now the bushing is in. Everything's, you know, nice and fitted. And I put the, whatever you call this thing, back on hole and then I'm just gonna set her back up the way we took her down all right so I hope this video helped anybody I know it's kind of a one case type thing because I live in New England and uh, they were fucking fucked up but uh, maybe if yours are corroded like that too this helped you a little bit but usually it's gonna be a lot harder than that so uh, sorry about that uh, but you know if you like the video if uh, it informed you at all fucking give it a like uh, Subscribe for more. We got more stuff coming with this thing. I actually just took it for a ride and now it's fucking The motor sounds like this So we're going to figure that shit out. Uh, so that'll be fun. I hope I didn't blow it. So subscribe for more and uh, see you in the next one. And when I die, make sure you spread my blood on a BMW. And when I die, make sure you spread my blood on a BMW.